Okay, so I've I'm just left about uh, 30 seconds ago. We got 70, um, 70 miles on the gasometer. I'm in a bit of a rush this morning, so um, bear with me. So we got that on there. Um, we're at three degrees C. Uh, the charge. Let me just spin the camera around. Um, I've taken several screenshots because I didn't want to do videos very early in the morning. I've been up since four o'clock this morning. Because you've made notice in the previous episodes, we've got quite a young child. Um, the charge said when I woke up, I was at I think about four thirty, something like that. It said there was a. Um, there was 40 minutes to, I think it's, I can't quite remember now. At some point, so there's 40 minutes remaining anyway. I don't think it was at 4.30 actually. I think it was about six o'clock. And it said there's 40 minutes remaining on the charge. I thought, wow, that's a lot quicker. Um, but it remained at 40 minutes uh, up to about eight o'clock. Um, stayed the same, hasn't really changed. Um, I've just unplugged it at about 20 past eight. And it said there was 10 minutes left on the charge. So it's, it seems to fluctuate on how it charge charges, as it like sort of seems to start off quite fast for a trickle charge. That is, and then then slow down for a good few hours. I think that's what well, that's what happened in this case. Because unless it's, the times aren't accurate, but I think it's fairly accurate. Forty minutes it said, and it lasted a couple of hours. So, but yeah, that's the only thing really to note. Temperature being two degrees now as we dip down to the bottom of the valley. Um, not fogging up this morning. Got the heating on. It's gonna be fine. I'm gonna test out uh, the new charge card that I got yet last night in a local charge point. Because I've got my cable and my card now. So a week on, I've got the things I need to use a public charge point. I think we're gonna find out if, when I get there. So what I would suggest, if you're thinking of getting a leaf, just watch these episodes and purchase the stuff beforehand. As long as you've got a reg number, you can do that. You can get a cable anyway. And the card turnaround for the Midlands one, which I've got plugged in Midlands, and that was real quick, as I said yesterday in the episode. Um, so I would, I would do all that, get that, and you'd have less heartache than I did for a week of not being able to really be confident you can charge up anywhere because you need a tether cable which none of the public ones seem to have so that would be my piece of advice for this morning one thing that is uh, made me ponder because you seem to better ponder a lot with all this with new stuff going on new way of thinking uh, having to plan and blah 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 um, is that our expectation levels for instance with the heating I don't want heating off because I want to be comfortable. And it's kind of what we got used to, I suppose. There's many, many countries where they're really uncomfortable most of the time, but they're happy. So linking together driving to comfort and happiness, two separate things. I just wonder what our expectations really are of how we should feel and what almost right we feel we should have to be comfortable and what we classify as comfortable. And me sitting here it fogging up, I admit, is a is a hazard because it you need to be able to see when you're driving. But being cold, you know, you're not really that cold. It's cold. You're slightly uncomfortable is probably the best way to describe it. You know, you're not going to get um, hypothermia by sitting in your car and driving to work with the heating off. Um, so there's like an expectation there that we should be comfortable, we deserve to be. When this 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 isn't really about that. This takes you out of your comfort zone, really. It's an electric car. I mean, it looks nice and it's obviously new and it's a you know, it's a real blessing to have it. But at the same time, it does bring into focus your expectations. Like you should you should be able to just jump in a car and travel 400 miles. You should be able to get in a car and it be heated and you'd be exactly at 20.5 degrees. And you just what I have, I've questioned the fact that whether that is that actually right. I know it's doable, but our expectations or mine are quite high, I would have thought, when you start actually thinking about what that actually costs in terms of in, in terms of energy, which is the way we think with a leaf, you get into that mindset of how much energy you are consuming. And it, it all has an ultimate cost because you've it drills back down to someone working to get something out of the ground. So there is, you know, I don't know, so 
weird path that this sort of exercise, very long for you exercise, is taking you on. So, hmm, there's a thought. I should see how that develops, but it, it's not something I've ever thought about before. And it's, it's certainly brought it to my mind. Really, and it is a, a rebuff of people arguing against it. Like, that's, you know, that's ridiculous. I, th I think it is. <laughs> it's ridiculous just have the heating up. But it depends how you classify ridiculous or unacceptable, really, doesn't it? Perhaps we should all go away to third world countries. Come on, then. Oh, cars. I was saying yesterday, I didn't get stressed out. She's just looking at me. So, there we go. Right, ta-da. Range Rover. Um, yeah. I think that's about all I've got to say on that, really. Let's see how that one develops. See if I can find a way to put up with things, or if you learn to. I know that's for sure. It's almost like we're living in a fantasy, isn't it? And it's almost like the leaf connects you, or driving an electric car, pure electric car, connects you back to reality, and it's and it's it's like it touches a nerve. Things are more complex than they seem, and with the abundance of fuel at the pumps, and you just go to them with abundance of fuel stations. It's disjointed to what you're used to, and I think it's disjointed for a good reason. Definitely makes you think. Definitely makes you think. Okay, I have got my membership card of Plugged His Midlands, as you would know from yesterday's episode. I am going to try to go to the one in Ross. So, I'm pretty sure Red something. I can't remember now what it's called. Red Meadow, there we go, Red Meadow Car Park, uh, that is in Ross and Y. Yes, and then we just do a check. Okay, set so as new destination, and we're looking at, uh, start, let's have a look. It's on Eco, 7.8 miles. To the highlighted route. We'll try that, and I'm sure we'll film again when we, when we arrive. On my, I've done 413 miles. Uh, we're on the seventh day of ownership. Uh, this time last week I was taking delivery of it. I haven't passed a single leaf in all those miles. So it would be interesting to see if I do, or how long it takes. Good thing we're doing these video diaries, see how long it actually takes to see another leaf in use that isn't like a courtesy, you know, a courtesy car or a demo car. One that's not branded a I'll be very interested to see uh, see how long it takes. So there's obviously isn't that in this rural being rural, there's not that many. And I spoke to the Gloucester dealer and he said they were yeah, they had loads of customers, but I can't believe that. I think he's just saying that. Might have a couple loads, I don't think so. This charge point I'm going is the closest one. I think it's the closest public charging point. It is the closest public charging point, yes. And I'm just gonna work out now how long I'm gonna to have to wait there because it's not a rapid charge. I'm gonna to have to work it out and come back when I'm sat there and think about it. Um, how long I have to wait there to how many miles I get from waiting. Because obviously I have to travel for to get there. I have to travel for twenty well twenty minutes in total I expect, yeah, ten minutes each way to get there. Ah uh, push. And that's gonna be approximately 10 miles about so hopefully it's not going to take an hour to get 10 miles because I will need to stay there sort of what, a few hours so I think they're only 16 amp anyway so it's yeah that it proves a point that the charging stations need to be where you're going really so really I need one at work and I have put a request in to have one put in and they said they're thinking about it because they got solar Solar panels across a huge uh, warehousing. They got solar panels across the whole top of that, and they got proposed planning permission. Why well, they got proposed? They got a proposal to put a solar array up on the whole bank, but it's been contested massively by the local residents because they don't want it there. 
So whether that happened, I don't know, but they are driven to get that sort of thing in. So this would be suitable for them. And I've actually suggested that they could use this as a bit of a tool, the fact that they've got a local businessman who wishes to charge his car and ideally off eco means. So the solar, as I'm there in the day, so I need one at work really, and that would actually, <clears throat> that would top it off lovely, because that would mean I wouldn't even need to even worry about 90% of the time my charge level, because it would go down 15% on the way to work, charge it up, be 100% when I leave, and it would just always be fully topped up almost, so. and almost most of the charge would be free. In fact, yeah, I would just probably just charge it at work, saying that I wouldn't, it would be free only six miles away. I wouldn't need to charge it when I got back home. Some people have got the journeys like 30, 40 miles and they need to charge it when they get home so they can get to work in the morning. I wouldn't need to do that. So it would actually be completely free. Almost, well it would be completely free all the time unless I stayed away, went away. So, interesting. The car in front of me almost went into the hedge. Houston, we have a problem. charging station I need is down there. Park entrance closed, please use entrance on Clark Street. It is down there, so I shall see if I can actually get to it. It's an interesting thing. There we are, available. Choose how you. So it's over there somewhere, so I think it's on that building, which I actually can't get to because it's completely shut off. And there's no way to actually get in, so. I'm gonna try and get into the other side of that building, which seems to be by Ross Swimming Pool, so I'll see if I can get there from a different angle. Other side of that wall I was a second ago. So it is possible to get here. Hooray! Have not been let down. So plugged in and all that business. I'm what I'm gonna try and do now though is because I've set the timer up. I don't really know how to make it charge without my phone app. So I'm gonna try that. Uh, menu. Carwings, nearby station charging timer. Uh, edit schedule. Do I have to delete the schedule, I wonder, to make it charge? I don't really know, to be honest. Uh, edit schedule. Just turn that off for now. Back. Suspend schedule update, yes. And then. Back. Charge timer. Is it edit schedule? It says on still. There we go. Save. There we go. Okay. Setting saved. Press back. I'm not even showing you this. I'm just talking about it. Which is not very good. <laughs> not very good at all, is it? Let me spin the camera. Okay, so there's the cables plugged in. Um, I've ended the schedule. So what we should find is it should charge. But to be honest, I don't think it's charging. It says it's plugged in, but there's no blue lights flashing. Um, I'm not sure. I shall go and have a look outside to see what that's all about. I can't see it charging. I'll check the iPhone app if it works. I don't think I've got a data connection there with my phone, so. Okay, I'm completely confused by this. So I plugged my cable in, I showed the card, and I showed the card again, that's gone yellow. If I could just pull this out, so I'll put that back in again. There's no blue lights on my car. So I'd say that, and it clicks. 
can still pull the cable out. Uh, which can't be right, surely. But then it's green. But then it should go blue. So is it? I don't know why that is. So I'll show my card again. That's gone yellow, which on this guide, I presume it's a guide rather than actual lights, there's no yellow. So I <laughs> don't know what that's all about. Green, blue, and red. No. Yellow and red so far. So let's try the other charging station. Oh, okay. Interesting. So that, I don't know. Starting. Charging vehicle. Okay. B, I don't understand what that's all about. Don't know about that one. That one works straight away. No issues. If it locks the cable in, it does. Yes, it does. Excellent. The only disadvantage with this one is that. Pay display. Pay for the flipping thing. It's a bit annoying. Never mind. It's charging. Up now. I've got the lights on the dash. All the manuals. I've got them out because I'm trying to find out what this is actually output in this station from within the car. I wanted to know if you can do it from the car and the estimated time to completion. Couldn't find it in any of the manuals. I presume it is there somewhere. I've looked. I've looked for the last 10 minutes. Now, I've run car wings and they are hope that they're pitiful. It's unbelievable. It really is. So anyway, as I'm on the phone to him, I found out that I can actually display it on the dash. It says, to 100% charge, three hours. That's the answer. So I've asked him, though, the question... Can I see it from in the car? He said, no, no, you need to use your app on your phone or a computer. I said, I haven't got a computer and I've got no data signal because I'm in a rural area. So I can't tell what the estimated time to completion is. And he said, no, you can't do it. You need an app or you need a computer. And I said, there's no way of telling from the car what the estimated time of completion was. I, I want to go away. Do I don't want to go away for 20, 30 minutes or an hour. I just wanted to know. It's just a general question. I don't really, really want to know. And not a clue. Not a clue that you could actually do that. Then I said to him, but I've got this thing on my dash that says to 100% charge. It's estimated at three hours. And it all went quiet. And he goes, have you? That's terrible. I actually well, I sat there like, going, oh, my goodness. Pointless ringing him. Pointless. They don't know that's on there. How can he not know that's on there? I, I, I would expect that call centre that you ring. Apparently, there's seven people working it. And they know the ins and outs of everything. But. He doesn't even know that it displays estimate on the Mark II. It displays two, 100% charge, three. In fact, I'll turn it around and see if I can actually film that. Where is the camera on this thing? I think you've probably seen it before. I don't even know if that showed up, but it says it on there. And they should definitely know that. It's not a hidden menu or anything. It actually shows it on there when you turn the car on. Oh, woeful, woeful. Okay, got to walk into town. For something to do whilst it's charging. I've got to pay some money in and get some milk because we've run out. But I've had the first person come up to me and ask me about them. So, number one on a very long list, I would imagine, especially in this area where you just don't ever see an electric car ever. Been here 40 minutes and I've turned the car on. So, it's been charged for approximately 40 minutes and it's given me an estimated of 75 miles. So, it's picked it up quite a bit. We need some milk, but it was a bit of a, a journey out of the way for no real reason. But now I've connected my first 16 amp output, which of course is still a fairly slow charge, but all good, all good. So that's, uh, that worked. I had a bit of a problem getting the cable out, but it seemed to have some sort of delay on it before it unlocked it. But uh, yeah, it came out in the end. Uh, I got back, I left, I didn't pay flipping parking, did I? Forgot all about it. So I ran back with the milk. <laughs> I got here just as the guy was going around. And actually, he turned out quite friendly. I think he looked at my car, saw it was electric, and didn't ticket it. Because he said to me, he, came, he had a chat with him first, and he said, you're probably the first person ever I've seen. He's been worked in Hereford. He works all over the place in Gloucestershire. He's, he hasn't seen anyone use the charge points yet. He's on the first person, so he had a chat with me. And he came back later and said, oh, by the way, you're supposed to pay for this. I don't know if you know that. And of course I did, but I forgot, because I'm forgetful. Really, because I'm driving along now, I'm not actually still I'm not 100% sure, but I'm asking myself, did I put my cable in the boot? Hmm. It's a bit like, did I leave the cooker on when I left home? That sort of thing. You don't get that with petrol pumps, you don't think, did I put the petrol pump in the boot, do you? 
didn't think, never thought, really thought of that. Because it's so flipping expensive. I mean, even if it was 20 quid, you don't want to leave it behind. But, yeah. Funny. Have I left it? I don't know. Hopefully not. Check when I get to work. The wipers today, in more heavy rain rather than drizzle, are working very well. They're auto working very well. So I'm driving to Gloucester and the back roads and it's, um, yeah, doing really, really well. Okay, I'm going to go to the Asda like I found with the charge point today um, to fit them up and see if she charges like she should do. Let's find out. This connect here is going to go flat. I think it's charging. It's flashing on the thing anyway, so it should be good to go. There we are, it's charging. So, excellent. I'm not sure what that means. I think that's because I put the card over it again. I'm not 100% sure now. Okay, I've got a green on the side. And it says, please hold, energy supply none. I've got flashing lights on there. I think that means it's charging. I don't know. It says energy supply none. Okay, I'm just popped back into work to get some stuff. I actually got it. Come out to get some bread. Have that. But we, or oh, I, am pushing it. Because... Ta-da! Nine miles remaining. Six mile journey. I'm not going to hang around. Low battery charge. There we go. So, off I go. No heating. I'm going to turn the monitor off. So you can turn the monitor off if you're not aware. Menu, settings, display. It's actually set is uh, it's a bit of a weird one. So you can say off, back back it will turn off like so and it will actually shut right off there you go I know it doesn't take hardly anything at all but it takes something so we shall see six miles to go so I shall report back in a bit to see if we conked out ah ah oh dear I'm not overly concerned to be honest because I've done this journey before in one degrees and at this point of where I am now we were on showing six miles remaining uh, six percent sorry and on this one we are showing nine percent and seven degrees not one degree it's not snowing so unless something's a bit odd we'll make it back easily it may display no characters, as in no numbers, it'll just be dash, 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 but uh, we should definitely make it back with ease, despite the big hill we don't want. High beam on the um, leaf takes up quite a bit of power, so I'm actually driving along on dipped, just to grab that back, there's a little tip there if you drive along, you're ridiculously low. Um, where we live, as my username is Raw Leaf, you can probably guess that we're quite rural. And I was driving along on a high beam on the way here and thinking, I'll tell you what, we're just gonna be cutting it fine. I shall put it onto low beam and just to slow it down a little bit. And I put it onto low beam and a wild boar walks right across the front, massive one. He was huge. Didn't hit him, which is a, a relief, but uh, almost did. Terrible film here, but it's real, real bumpy. Sort of back end road. Ah, that battery's gone up, hasn't it, to 10%? I think. Okay, what we have got now is a very low battery charge. This is all the thing I didn't capture on that terrible night home we had because my phone was full, so we got nothing on there. 
me here we've got an 8% battery uh, but the car is nicely warm because the uh, heating's on. It's a little experiment four miles out to see whether or not uh, what effect it really does have. You know it's uh, quite a lot of draw. Actually watching it it turns a big bump here somewhere. Ow! Uh, we turn it turns off and on its own, it takes down to zero. It just doesn't draw any power when it gets to the temperature, so it's interesting. Okay, we're starting to climb now. Uh, we're at seven percent battery. Starting to climb. This is the killer hill. It is a real steep one. We've seen it before in previous episodes. It's a long, drawn out hill. You can just see it eats the battery. Seven, six, and I'm pretty sure in a minute it'd be five. No all the problems. All the problem. Oh, there we go. Six to nothing. Scary signs. But I'm not overly worried to be honest. I've done this once before. I've got probably six miles out of it, and it was still going. So not overly concerned. For those of you who haven't seen it yet, that's what it looks like when you run your leaf. Almost empty. According to the display, it's empty anyway. But I am driving along with the heater on, so it's got to the top of the hill. Fine. And we're safe now. We know we're safe because we're at the top. And it's just a roll down. So that's all good, but I'm going to use the throttle on the way down. Ah, it's just doesn't focus on anything, this camera. Right. She'll go and plug her in when I get back. Okay, I've got this, uh, I've had it for ages. I used to have an electric motorbike. So I've just turned it on. At the moment it says it's drawing no amps, but I can't believe that's right. I think if I... I don't know. Uh... Function, function, back. I don't know. Uh, uh, not really sure what is going on with that. I'm going to turn that off. It doesn't seem to display anything, so I'm going to take that inside and have a look about that. Um, because I was hoping to see what is really drawing, but. Uh, I shall have a look at the manual if I can find it and see if I can set it up again. And then show you sometime what it's drawing at the start and at the finish, almost at the finish. To see if it. The motorbike used to tail down, start high and get lower and lower and lower and lower and lower and lower. It was showing the battery as 9%, which is slightly above what it was before. We had it down to one mile last time. Um, and 14 hours, 30 minutes. So that is working the charge meter on that at the moment. So 14 hours, 30 minutes, and it's 10 o'clock. Mm. 